Hello, and welcome to part 6 of Far Through Forbidden's Auto IT video tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to make your own graphic user interfaces, or GUIs. A GUI is a window, besides a message box, that allows you to put lots of different things in it. If we go to a certain area in the Auto IT installation directory, That is called examples and go under GUI it will have a very interesting script that has examples of all the different kinds of controls which can be put into a GUI a control is something like a button or a progress bar or a picture or anything that any type of media in the window here's the example as you can see you can put quite a bit of stuff into a GUI you have a custom icon here, you have lots of different kinds of menus, which will come down if you set them to. You can have tabs, up and down things, radio buttons, slide bars, progress bars, lists, calendars, items, tree views, checkbox, buttons, the whole thing. And when you hit the X button, close it out. So what we're going to be going over is how to make your own GUI. Now there is a tool in the full version of Auto IT, er, in the full version of the Auto IT editor, if you go under Tools, it's called Coda. You can access it also by hitting Alt M. What Coda is is it allows you to make a GUI, and it's very easy to use. I'm going to be going. I'm going to go over how to make do, use it really fast. You start out with a form, and you have the Properties bar thing down here. In this, you can change the caption. The name of it, which is what the variable will be called to hold data brought back by the GUI, and you can also add lots of controls to it, such as buttons and checkbox, checkboxes and radio buttons, and everything that you saw in the sample thing, um, al along with some others. When you like it, when you have it the way you want, and everything, you can go up to tools. Let me just change some options real quick fast. And you can hit generate form code, and it'll generate all of the code necessary to have your GUI. If you copy it all, and put it into your script, when you run it, you get exactly what you created in Coda, with buttons that get pushed, checkboxes that can be checked, and radio button boxes that can be checked too. That's the easy way to do it, but you need to know how to actually make your own GUI in case Coda decides to die. So, I'm going to show you. Coda does, is kind of nice because it does show you the way of doing it. In the beginning, you have these includes. What these are, are their auto IT files. Not scripts, but just files that have certain information in them. This information has certain constants, like in GUI constants ex.au3. And what these constants are, are they are certain variables that get set with certain data. It's kind of interesting to look at. I'll show you real fast. It simply creates all of these variables that have certain numbers after them. They are used to set certain aspects of the GUI. Alright, so in the beginning we have some of these include files which are necessary to create a GUI. Coda will tell you which ones you need, but usually you just need GUI constants ex.au3. But there's also static consonants and Windows cons constants for other things. So, what we do is first, we have this, um, we have this function right here, called GUI create. What this does is it creates a GUI. If you look in the Auto IT help file, it has all of the parameters that can be passed through the function, and the parameters 
functions. The first one's the title, which is the title of, they call it a dialog box, I call it a GUI. In this, with the coded created one, it's my GUI. The next is the width, the height, left, which is the left side of the dialog box, and the top. Then there are also things that can change the style of it. We'll get into that later. The only thing that is really necessary is the title. If you get rid of all of the positioning ones, it will simply create a GUI that is a default size. Coda will automatically put in where to the right and, and top that the GUI should be. I almost always take those, which are the last two, out because, first off, it will just create the default size and it'll just put it right in the middle. If you use this on another computer and you put in the, and it opens it up at the coordinates that were in the center on your screen, it could be way to the left or way to the right, or if they have dual monitors, could be completely off of the screen on theirs. And that's never good. So I always take those off. Then there are different things, such as GUI control create button. What that does is it creates a button. Then there's GUI control create checkbox, radio, label. These are all very well documented in the Auto IT help file. There's GUI control create AVI all the way down to GUI oops, control create up down. If you want to find them in the table of contents, it's under function reference, GUI reference, and then they're all there. Or, actually, it's under GUI control creation, and then there they all are. And it has a description, it creates an AVI video for the GUI, a button for the GUI, a checkbox, a combo box, everything. After all of these are created, it holds a certain ID in the variable that you create them with such as the GUI create will return its ID and store it in dollar sign form one. After all, are, all of these are created, you need to show the GUI. You do this by typing in GUI set state at SW show. What that means is it creates, it allows the GUI to be visible. It's always good not to do this until the very end, because if you do it at the beginning, the GUI will open, and you'll see all of the buttons and checkboxes getting created, and that's not necessarily very smooth. It's sometimes kind of cool, but not necessarily very smooth. It has all of the different kinds of flags that you can put into GUI set state to change its state. Show, it shows a previously hidden window. Hide the window, minimize it, maximize it, undo Windows minimization. Disables the window, enables it, locks the window to avoid repainting. Unlock windows to allow repainting. And then also a window handle that you can put in as an optional parameter, which is the window handle returned by GUI create, which you would put right here and would be dollar sign form one because that's what's returned by GUI create. Like I said, it's like the ID. But since um, this is the last GUI that we, we created, that is not necessary. All right, since we have a limit of 10 minutes on YouTube's videos, I'm gonna go ahead and do the next section of GUIs in a separate video. I'll see you, I'll see you then.